Hello, I'm Jay. And I'm Dan. And this is our full ship tour of Cunard's Queen Elizabeth. When you step aboard Queen Elizabeth, you'll step into her stunning Grand Lobby, located midship on Deck 1. This beautiful Grand Lobby spans Deck 1 to 3 and is Art Deco themed throughout, with dark woods, marble flooring and subtle lighting. This is possibly the nicest Grand Lobby and atrium we've seen on a ship, but what's your opinion? Let us know in the comments below. On Deck 1 in the Grand Lobby, you'll find the Voyage Sales and Tour Office on the port side, and on the starboard side you'll find the purser's desk, where most Brits will be scrambling to remove their gratuities shortly after boarding. Located all the way forward on decks 1, 2 and 3 you'll find the impressive Royal Court Theatre. Capable of seating 832 passengers, the Royal Court Theatre could easily rival theatres in the West End of London and Broadway in New York in terms of its interior design. The Royal Court Theatre plays host to West End style shows, comedians, tribute acts and much much more. We've now moved up to Deck 2 and away from the Royal Court Theatre and we've found the casino located on the port side of the shopping arcade staircase. Directly opposite on the starboard side you'll find the Golden Lion Pub. Cunard do the best pubs at sea in our opinion. They feel incredibly authentic, featuring great entertainment including quizzes, live music acts and bingo and they serve some great food too. All food served in the Golden Lion is included in your cruise fare. Staying on deck 2 and moving towards midship, you'll find the elegant Queen's Room, which happens to be one of the largest ballrooms at sea. By day, the Queen's Room plays host to aerobics classes, bingo, music acts and Cunard's famous afternoon tea. Find out what we thought of that in our full Queen Elizabeth review on our channel. Wedged between the Queen's Room and Café Corinthia on the starboard side of Deck 2 you'll find the Cunard Place, where you'll discover some historical Cunard memorabilia and artefacts, and the Port Shop where you can buy the usual Pringles, Haribo and seasickness bands at inflated prices. They also stock an extensive range of Cunard merchandise, from pens to bone china tea sets. Café Corinthia is a relaxing bar and lounge situated on the centre deck of the beautiful Grand Lobby, with windows looking out over the sea, allowing natural light to flood into the heart of the ship. Café Corinthia is a Parisian style venue, serving French pastries, speciality coffees and the best hot chocolate we've ever had at sea. They also serve the most beautiful premium tea bags here, PG tips at Café Corinthia, not on your Nelly. Also on deck 2 in the Grand Lobby you'll find the only speciality restaurant on board Queen Elizabeth, the Veranda. Charged at $45 per person, the Veranda is a French inspired steakhouse serving quality cuts of meat, superb seafood dishes, burgers and some of the best desserts we've ever eaten at sea. The service here was nothing short of fantastic, the food was sublime, and the decor and surroundings at this venue really do feel premium. A majority of the menu is covered under the $45 cover charge, however some items such as the Grand Seafood Platter Fruit de Mer for two comes at an additional charge. If you're in the Britannia Club accommodation, then the Britannia Club restaurant will be your main dining venue on board Queen Elizabeth. Smaller in scale to the much larger Britannia dining room, the Britannia Club restaurant is an intimate dining venue with swanky and premium surroundings. Many of the tables come with a perfect view too. All the way aft on deck two and three, you'll find the impressive Britannia dining room. Art Deco themed and oozing luxury on the eye. This dining room serves breakfast, lunch and dinner. There is no need to book a table for breakfast and lunch. However, an allocated time will be assigned to you for dinner on boarding. But if you're not happy with the allocated time, it's not a problem for the maitre d' to change this for you. As you leave the Britannia restaurant on deck 3 on the starboard side, you'll find the photo gallery and studio. This is where you can purchase photographs of you during your cruise by the ship's professional photographers. 
At the top of the grand lobby you have the card room on the port side where you can play Scrabble, Monopoly and other board games in addition to cards. Next door you have the upper level of the two deck library on board Queen Elizabeth. This is the most stunning library we've seen on a ship. Stocking thousands of fiction and non-fiction books, this library features a stunning timber spiral staircase, a beautiful stained glass roof, a rather large globe and small internet cafe for those that don't have smartphones and need to use the web. At the top of the Grand Lobby you'll find the Midships Bar. The Midships Bar specialises in a variety of gins including their very own The Free Queen's Gin, which is distilled specifically for Cunard in the United Kingdom and we have to say it's very good indeed. Like all beverages on Queen Elizabeth, they're expensive, however we love the decor and surroundings of the iconic bar, which have large windows that look onto Queen Elizabeth's wraparound promenade deck, so it's a lovely place to be. Next to the midship bar you'll discover the ship's bookshop, stocking a vast variety of books relating to ships and the maritime industry, and some specific to Cunard line itself. Heading forward and remaining on the starboard side, you'll come across the ship's art gallery. This is where you can view and purchase pieces of art by artists around the world, however much of the artwork here is by British artists. Whatever you choose to purchase on board, it will be delivered directly to your doorstep by the art gallery itself once you're home. Overlooking the remarkable Queen's Room, you have two jewellers stocking a wide range of fine luxury jewellery, including watches by Rolex and Tag, as well as diamond and tanzanite rings and necklaces at eye-watering prices. By purchasing on board you save on VAT, meaning they are at least 20% cheaper on board compared to what you'd pay back home in the UK. You can also find a wide range of fragrances at the perfumery including an entire Joe Malone and Tom Ford section. Duty free cigarettes and alcohol can also be purchased on board, however items bought here will be retained by Cunard until the last night of your cruise. Before moving on to the other side of the ship to see some more shops Queen Elizabeth has to offer, let's just stop and appreciate how beautiful the Royal Arcade is. Lining the port side of the Royal Arcade on Deck 3, you'll find a clothes shop and an accessory store, selling everything from designer sunglasses through to designer handbags. They also sell formal items such as bow ties in case you've left yours at home. Decks 4 through to 8 are all passenger cabins, therefore we're going to continue on deck 9 forward. This is where you'll find the spa and fitness centre. The fitness gym is fully equipped with the latest in exercise equipment including cross trainers, treadmills and rowing machines. You can also find a variety of different weights here and exercise classes are performed here daily. Simply check the daily shipboard program for details. Here at the Muriel Spa you can receive a variety of treatments including manicures, pedicures, haircuts and of course massages. For $35 per person for a 2 hour period you can have full access to the beautiful and relaxing hydrotherapy pool and thermal suite. This is one of the nicest spas we've used at sea. The water is warm, the seats are comfortable and you have two steam rooms and saunas to choose from. The heated orthopaedic beds also look out over the ocean. They only sell a certain number of slots for passengers to use these facilities, so best book as soon as you can. It really is worth the money, we just wish you could purchase a full day slot like you could before. Moving midship and heading outside, you'll discover the Pavilion Pool and Bar. The Pavilion Pool is one of the two swimming pools on board Queen Elizabeth, and was heated to 38 degrees Celsius while we was on board. We also have two hot tubs and comfortable sun loungers line the pool's edge if the weather allows. This is the garden lounge. With a glass roof and panoramic glass windows lining port and starboard side, light floods into the garden lounge and creates an airy and relaxing environment. Perfect to read a book and enjoy a cup of tea. The garden lounge also hosts quizzes, bingo and music acts. Just check the daily shipboard program for details. Taking up around one third of deck nine at the aft is the Lido restaurant, which is Queen Elizabeth's buffet style self-serve restaurant. The Lido serves different nationalities of food each day including Indian, Asian, American and of course British. The style of food here is advertised in the daily shipboard programme allowing you to make the best choice when it comes to dining on board Queen Elizabeth. They also have the pizzeria counter which is open for lunch and dinner where you can create your own pizza and they cook it right in front of you.
Located all the way aft on deck 9, portside, you'll find the Lido Grill, serving burgers, hot dogs, jacket potatoes and fish and chips when the weather allows. On the starboard side, you'll find the Lido Bar, where you can grab your favourite cocktail and sit in the sun. The Lido Pool is the second pool on Queen Elizabeth and is the focal point of this quarter deck. This is a beautiful pool area which is a very open space providing great views over the ship's wake. This is the pool to use when you're sailing in warmer climates and you can cope with that sea breeze. We're now on deck 10 and this is where you'll find the zone and the play zone for children and youngsters. Unfortunately we cannot share footage inside as they are very strict on photography for obvious reasons. This is the Yacht Club, one of our favourite bars and lounges on board Queen Elizabeth. With a dance floor at the centre and an impressive chandelier overhead, this is the late night venue on board with live music playing late into the night. This is also a very relaxing place to come during the day. All the way forward on deck 10 you'll find the fleet wide favourite Churchill Cigar Lounge. The walls are covered with reminiscent artwork of Winston Churchill himself, the seating is comfortable, the air is purified and the cigars have been selected by experts to perfectly accompany your cognac and brandy. Cigarette smoking is prohibited at Churchill's, however in an adverse weather conditions where they close the outer decks they do waive this rule. Next door to Churchill's you have the Admiral's Lounge, a small intimate lounge on board Queen Elizabeth which allows you to take in the views and read a book in peace and quiet. Welcome to the Commodore Club, the equivalent of the Crow's Nest Bar on P&O ships. This venue provides 180 degree panoramic views out over the ocean ahead and you can just about see the tip of the ship's forecastle. The Commodore Club plays host to a variety of music acts, usually classical or jazz in genre which suits the atmosphere of this beautiful lounge perfectly. The Commodore Club features the best range of cocktails compared to any bar on board in our opinion, including the all-consuming passion, it's just a shame that the drinks are so expensive. If you love deck games when you come on a cruise, you'll love this space above the Commodore Club on deck 11. Here you'll find a bowls pitch, a croquet lawn and a tennis court, all of which is covered by a fabric canopy roof, meaning you're sheltered from the wind and the rain if it sets in. If you're looking for shuffleboard and quits, this can also be found on deck 11, but towards the aft, on port and starboard side. On the roof of the yacht club on deck 11, you can also find a chessboard, and perched behind the funnel, you'll find a basketball court. Deck games were a massive part of the life on board in the early days of Cunard's history, and it's nice to see that they're continuing with that tradition. We've never been on a ship where there's so many deck games for passengers to play, which really does show appreciation for the camaraderie of cruising and the history of ocean travel which Cunard cling on to. Lastly on our tour, you can find the Queen's Grill and Princess Grill restaurant at the aft, which is strictly for Grill's guests. You can also find the Grill's lounge here too, which gives you beautiful views over the pavilion pool and the ship making way forward. The Grills restaurant features a stunning outside terrace area with a water fountain and street lamps, which is open when Queen Elizabeth is on voyages to warmer climates. There's also a staircase which takes you up to the Grills Terrace, which is a sun deck also for privileged passengers in the Grills accommodation. So that was our full ship tour of Cunard's Queen Elizabeth. We were big fans of this ship and we felt that she was in an immaculate state of condition throughout in terms of maintenance and cleanliness, and was certainly better than what we had on Queen Mary 2 only a few months previous. The decor in this ship is seriously impressive and you do feel in a way that you're stepping back in time and you get a sense of appreciation for how ocean travel all started and what it was all about. A 
few observations to make though, the entertainment is very much geared up for older passengers and there is very little going on on board for younger people. In fact we found that every day the shipboard program was just pianists, guitarists, violinists and guest speakers. It seems that there is very little, if any thought, for what younger passengers may like, but if you're somebody that's quite happy coming onto a cruise to relax and read a book, you won't find this an issue on Queen Elizabeth as she is an incredibly relaxing ship to be on. If we could give you a couple of tips it would be to book the veranda as it's one of the best speciality dining venues we've ever been to at sea and book a slot to use the hydrotherapy pool and thermal suite at the spa. It really is an amazing experience and we'd recommend you give it a go. If you'd like to find out more about our experience on Queen Elizabeth, please check out our Queen Elizabeth review on our channel. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for future cruise content. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.